seated. Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Natalie Shirley. I am the Hargrave High School Senior Class President. On behalf of Hargrave High School and Huffman ISD, we would like to welcome each of you to the Class of 2019 Commencement Ceremony. At this time, I will introduce our 2019 Senior Class Officers. Please stand when your name is called. Vice President Michaela Cobb, 
Secretary Nicholas Osterberg, <laughs> Treasurer Kimper Brown, and Reporter Sebastian Ordos. We will follow the order as it is written in your program. The Hargrave JROTC will present the national and state colors. Some of our Huffman Choir members will perform the national anthem. The invocation will be delivered by Sebastian Ordos, as well as the Pledge of Allegiance. The pledge to the Texas flag will be led by Nicholas Osterberg and the introduction of guests by Kemper Brown. The traditional tassel ceremony will be led by Michaela Cobb along with the playing of our school song, led by the Hargrave High School Band, and the benediction will also be delivered by Michaela. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, will you please stand and remain standing for the presentation of the colors, the national anthem, invocation, pledge of allegiance, and the Texas pledge. Please bow your heads. Our Father, God, how wonderful are the works of I'm sorry. Please join me in prayer. Uh, our Father God, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences, let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. For this school, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take the next step into your world. For our teachers who have richly loved us and cared for us, even at our worst, for our families who have cheered us on on the finish line and stood by, uh, stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day especially, we thank you for the friends that we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in the years to come, friendships and tears that we have endured together side by side, and for your love which has been made evident through the relationships we will carry with us beyond these walls. Let us continue to lay down our lives for each other just as you gave up your life for each of us. Let us love each other fearlessly and seek your earnestly, seek your, seek your will earnestly through all the days of our lives. Amen.
please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty State under God, one and indivisible. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our special guests. Please hold your applause until all guests have been introduced. We will begin by introducing our Huffman ISD school board members. The class of 2019 would like to thank each member for the time and support you have given us over the past 13 years. Your dedication to our education is greatly appreciated. Representing the Huffman Independent School District Board of Trustees is Mr. Matt Dutton, President, Mr. Patrick Keith, Vice President, Dr. Charles Bardwell, Secretary, Mr. Ray Burt, Assistant Secretary, Mr. Dean Warren, Member, Mr. Dean Tennant, Member, Mr. Aaron Alexander, Member. Please give this group a round of applause. I will now introduce the Huffman Independent School District Administration. Again, the class of 2019 thanks our administrators throughout our 13 years for your commitment to our education. Representing the Huffman ISD uh, administration is Superintendent Dr. Benny Swallow, Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Program Services, Dr. Joel Nolte, Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Tim Britton, Hargrave High School Principal, Mr. Brandon Perry, and then Assistant Principals, Mr. Rob Murray, Mrs. LaTanya Dorsey, and Mrs. Emily Garcia. Director of Career and Technical Educa Education, Mrs. Julie Gatlin, Guidance counselors, Mrs. Christy Murray and Mrs. Shelley Rena. Huffman Elementary Principal, Mrs. Melissa Hutchinson, and Director of Special Education for the Huffman ISD, Michelle Davenport. Please give this group of administrators a round of applause. Now join me in welcoming Mr. Brandon Perry for delivery of the principal's address. I'm going to start by congratulating our Lady Falcons softball team on a state championship. <laughs> Thank you, Kemper. It is my pleasure to welcome you here tonight on behalf of Hargrave High School. I am always impressed, and tonight is no exception with the support we get from our community, from our high school, for our high school students. I would like to offer a tremendous thanks to all of you who are here at the ceremony this afternoon. Today, we will celebrate and honor the Hargrave High School class of 2019. But before we recognize our graduates, I think it's necessary to pay tribute to those in the audience this afternoon who have had a lasting impact on the lives of our students. To the parents and family members of our guests, I say thank you for trusting us with your students over the past four years. I know this afternoon, this special event is for you as well. We as a faculty fully appreciate your role in the education of these students today. At Hargrave High School, we know that educating students is something that we cannot successfully do alone. And I would like to thank each of you for your cooperation and support in getting your students to where they are today. I would like to thank our teachers, staff members, bus drivers, cafeteria workers, our custodians, 
central office, and school board. Members all who have played a key role in getting our graduates to the, this point in their lives. To the staff at Hargrave High School, I can't say enough for the countless hours that you have invested in the lives of our graduates over the course of the last four years. I am thankful for all that you do. Students, it's hard to believe that tonight symbolizes the closure of one chapter of your lives and the beginning of a new chapter whose content will be determined by a series of decisions that you'll have to make. As every adult in the arena can confirm, the road ahead of each of you will be filled with new opportunities, new adventures, new friendships, new challenges, many of which will cause you to want to give up on your goals and aspirations. But remember that you are not defined by your GPA. How many degrees that you hold, how much money you make, how big your house is, or the kind of car that you drive. I would like to close with a poem that puts life in perspective. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the birth and spoke the following date with tears. But he said what mattered most of all was the dash between the years. For the dash represents all the time they spent alive on earth and how only those who love them would know what that little dash was worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about it long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left to still be rearranged. Be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in your lives like you've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering this special dash may only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they said about how you lived your dash? HHS class of 2019, your dash begins now. At this time, the class of 2019 salutatorian Kemper Brown will deliver his official salutatorian address, followed by Noah Lane, Hargrave High School's 2019 valedictorian. All right. Well, they told me that if I go rogue, they're prepared to cut the mic, stop the cameras, and tackle me off the stage, so I'm going to try to stick to the script. I also want to give a long speech about as much as y'all want to sit here and listen to one, so I'm going to keep it pretty simple. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, the typed copy of this speech is double-spaced. Boys and girls of Hargrave High School, we have managed to drag ourselves kicking and screaming through the halls of our school for four years and countless days. We've experienced drudging sorrow and wonderful joys during our time here, and there's no doubt that it has crafted us into the individuals that we are. I personally would like to thank my parents and family, my teachers, my friends, and my fellow book club members for supporting me and helping me achieve the personal goals that I have. But today isn't about me, today is about us. This is about our shared accomplishment of walking across this stage and setting off to blaze our own trail through the world. If there's one thing I've noticed from my experiences, it's that humans have a lot of things in common. They all have a brain and a consciousness and physical abilities and emotions. However, the one thing that humans are looking for, despite the fact that they may never find it, is the truth. It stares you into the face before vanishing and reappears only in altered forms of itself a magical beast who shies to idiocy and only shows itself to those who deserve to find it. Humans look for it in busy intersections, in mountain passes, in books, in religion. The truth is everywhere and it is nowhere. The truth becomes the underlying theme of every idea ever expressed and those who come closest to finding it will last forever. The only thing I ask from all of you as you go out and into the world is that you never stop seeking your truth. 
Search for it wherever you can and hold on to every last bit for as long as possible because this pursuit is what binds us together as humans. It's what gives us life. So go out there and experience it all. Run through the streets, swim in the rivers, climb through the mountains, shout from the rooftops. Our lives are things to be celebrated and this is only the beginning. The opportunities that exist for all of us are infinite and varied and they're all ours for the taking. Life is ours for the taking. As Hunter S. Thompson once stated, life should not be a journey to the grave with the attention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. Whenever you leave here today, it's not only important to think about the times you've had, but the ones that lay in front of you, the stories that have yet to be written. You've made the first step, now it's up to you to keep on going. So thank you and congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2019. From kindergarten to our senior year, we have all worked hard for the last 13 years to make it to this very moment. The time spent at our grave has been memorable, cherished, and seemingly very fast. I have grown to know many of these graduates since elementary school, and I cannot stress enough that time sure flies by. I'd like to thank the parents, administrators, teachers, and faculty for shaping us into the young men and women who are present today. I have watched hardworking students grow into inspiring leaders. I have seen friendships form that stuck like family. I have witnessed our teachers and staff working, every, uh, working hard every single day so that we can be where we are right now. I'd personally like to thank my parents for being there every step of the way, motivating me to push myself and give 110% to everything that I strive for in school. But beyond the academics and the activities, GPAs and accomplishments, they reminded me that life is similar to a cross-country road trip. We should be more focused on the journey rather than the destination. Our contributions, collective experiences, and the people that we impact along our travel are what really matters. A wise, highly acknowledged philosopher once spoke, I heard you die twice, once when they bury you in the grave, and the second time is the last time that somebody mentions your name. Now this great philosopher is the acclaimed rapper known as Macklemore. <laughs> and the meaning behind this statement is true. Everyone is heading down the same winding roads at one point or another. And although you may have your occasional road rage or disagreement with your peers, in the end we are all trying to make this vast journey through adulthood. Like most trips, there are many different strategies to reach the final end point. Some of us are more orientated on reaching the destination with as few stops as possible. These drivers are reluctant to sacrifice valuable time and make great effort to reach their time of arrival. Then there are those who completely toss their map out of the window. They simply feel no sense of urgency in reaching their destination and may wander highways until they run out of gas. Finally, there are the drivers who have learned to balance both of these aspects and gain mo the most out of their well-earned trip. They're willing to aid others who have broken down on the shoulder of the road as they too can continue on their journey. The drivers who are racing to reach their goals represent those who seem to focus on success and achievements. While these are all good things, these factors end up becoming the basis of our self-worth. But why do we do what we do? All of our lives, we have been told that to get into a good college, you must have good grades while in high school. From there, we're told in order to get a well-paying job, we simply have to maintain an excellent GPA while in college and earn our degree. Now that we have a career, what's our goal now? To make a better income, of course. So we attempt to climb the succession of stairs towards the top of our careers to gain a more valuable job. We falsely believe that once we reach that major life goal of success, we will finally be able to make a difference. Yet, in the blink of an eye, most of your life here on earth is gone. You may wonder, what was the point of all of this? but that is up for you to decide. It is your sole responsibility to pursue your passion, to make headway in a world that prioritizes your achievements rather than your intentions. If you're too busy thinking about getting to the destination, you won't be able to appreciate the sights and scenic routes along the way. It is the purpose behind our actions that makes the journey worthwhile. On the other hand, 
Those who are wandering aimlessly throughout their journey are not worried about their destination. They may be convinced that there is no way they can possibly make a difference without their high set goals. However, their talents and strengths can still be used to the betterment of others. And yet, as our time spent enriching other people's lives, they give us the greatest sense of fulfillment. Think about it as such. You see an elderly woman who's eyeing a can of soup, we'll call it beef stew, on the top shelf at your local Walmart. By helping her be able to purchase that beef stew, you begin to feel one of those good feelings. This little old lady theory suggests that when we have the ability to use our gifts in order to benefit another, we get that sense of fulfillment of leaving an impact on the world. It's about leaving a legacy, not simply receiving recognition. You may find an alternate road as you change your life goals. You may break down on the shoulder of the road as you face a difficult situation in your life. You could possibly end up with a flat tire as negativity makes it harder to per pursue your own purpose. Nonetheless, you must keep driving straight, because if you don't, you'll be stagnant in the traffic of what we call life. And the final group of drivers are those who have realized their destination. They aren't in a hurry to reach it. They allow time for several planned and unplanned stops along the way. They are flexible and not afraid to tread down the dirt road every now and then. We know that at the end of the day, our impact is what matters. No one will be discussing your GPA or your annual salary at your final moments. The only thing that will matter is the people whose lives you've impacted up to that point. And I can say that you've all had an impact on my life, so let's keep moving it forward. Our interactions with those that give us meaning keep us from becoming this capitally driven machine that isn't at all human. Whether you decide to work within the music industry, pharmaceuticals, join the service, or anything in between, make connections. Create your own sphere of influence and take part in your road trip through life with other drivers. The class of 2019 has, is filled with individuals whose names will not be forgotten as they make an impact on the world. The torch has been passed down to us, and now it's our time to light the way for future generations. I know that God has set a path before everyone that see it in front of me, and I have seen a purpose in the eyes of those individuals, knowing full-heartedly that nothing can be a roadblock to them. These students have been trained to be impactful in other people's lives, work hard, and never give up. This road trip may be over, but a new one awaits. Thank you. Dr. Swallow, please join me at the podium. Dr. Swallow, I am pleased to present to you Hargrave High School graduating class of 2019. I have verified these students have met the requirements for graduation of the Huffman Independent School District. Thank you, Mr. Perry. To you, the Hargrave High School graduating class of 2019, I extend my warmest congratulations and wishes for a successful and fulfilling future. Mr. Dutton, will you please join us at the podium? Mr. Dutton, Mr. Perry has verified that these students are eligible for graduation. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the state of Texas and the Huffman Independent School District Board of Trustees, I hereby certify these students as 2019 graduates of Huffman Independent School District. Thank you, Dr. Swallow and Mr. Dutton. At this time, Mr. Evan Delahaye will present our 2019 Gold Cord graduates. It's my pleasure to present Hargrave High School's top 10 graduates. They are distinguished by the gold cords they are wearing tonight. Noah Christopher Lane.
Kemper Nicholas Brown. Claire Nicole Canerza. Corbin David Napier. Kayla Nicole Morhage. Matthew James Tomjack. Orlando Duarte Jr. Cade Scott Harvey. Maxine Alessandra Canellis. Sebastian Ordas Alvarez. At this time, I will present the Silver Cord graduates, which are those students who have a 3.5 GPA or higher. These students are distinguished by the silver cords they are wearing. Nicholas Alexander DeVault. Bryce Ray Winslow. Grace Annalyn Foster. Michaela Leanne Cobb. Natalie Christine Shirley. Paige Elizabeth Griffin. Kayla Byrne Madigan. David Hernandez. Caleb Joseph Tiffin. Cody Michael Shockey. Taylor Elizabeth Simmons. Kaylee Glenmarie McLean. Madison Hope Sather. John Foster Eccles III. Ashton Edward Herman. Haley Diane Hickel. Niklas Osterberg. Austin Allen Douglas. Katie Elizabeth Cunningham. April Christine Gamer. Kyle Eugene Harris. Jaden Ann Richardson. Yeah. 
Garrett Thomas Goodman. Cambry Diane Wiggum. Marissa Blake Marshall. Bryn Ryan Roper. William Omar Romero. Aaron Wesley Pullum. Ethan Andrew Herrera. Karenny Michelle Zimmerman. Casey Lynn Warren. Dennis Ray Dykeman II. Desiree Gabrielle Cardenas. Softball player, state champion. Carson Jacob Johnson. Benjamin Scott Leisure. Sailor Ann Boss. Jace Logan Janik. Ariel Faye Cecilio. Marshall Ethan Ketterer. Matthew Ryan Dorsey. Hannah Grace Long. Tyler Paul Babin. Rachel Elizabeth Wilkins. William Chase Douglas. Daniel Reed Alexander. Destiny Mercedes Osbrooks. Maria Guadalupe Alvarez. Dylan Michael Anderson. Ashton Thomas Anderson. Tyler Thomas Anderson. Aaron Alexia Apodaca. Marcus Alexander Arachiga. Cade Ethan Baker. Yeah. 
Franklin, Rodrika, Antanius, Baker. <laughs> Sorry. Cassandra, Diane Bell. Elizabeth Page Bethune. Kimberly Ann Bethune. Stephanie Renee Bethune. Raymond Isaiah Bishop. Luis Alberto Bonilla, Madrid. Jason Kyle Borrego. Hunter Edwin Bro. Dylan Michael Brogdon. Austin Dior Broussard. Justin David Caraway. Alyssa Danielle Cardona. Caitlin Alana Castle. Amanda Elizabeth Cavanaugh. Ronnie Dennis Cavanaugh. Christopher Louis Claudio. Shiana Lynn Clay. Sean Cameron Coker. Macy Renee Cole. Hunter Matthew Cohn. Alicia Marie Contreras. Ethan Michael Cox. Seth Christopher Cozart. Luke Austin Crabtree. Christopher Jean Cuesta Jr. Mickey Joe Dodson Jr. Victoria Nicole Drager. Darius DePaul Dugas. <laughs> Maxwell Cool Eastham. <laughs> Wadey Wayne Elam. Cameron Blake Falcone. Lexi Rain Fellers.
Tara Lee Flaw. Cecilia Rose Flores. Diego Guadalupe Flores. Taylor Fortenberry. Mary Elizabeth Fowler. Zara Vanessa Galvan. Laura Geisel Garcia. Noemi Garcia. Sean Halen Gates. Joseph Reed Gedman. Hope Elise Gilbert. Morgan Marie Gill. Dallas Matthew Gordon. Audrey Renee Grice. Michaela Leanne Gidry. Luis Alejandro Guillen. Talon Andrew Hare. Micah Jean Heights. Carly Leanne Hall. Savian Alante Hancock. Anna Ray Hayden. Evelyn Soliel Hernandez. Savannah Dane Herndon. Jaylene Janessa Herrera. Devin Michael Higgins. Blaine Robert Hightower. Braden Riley Hill. Jolie Pearl Holcomb. Cassandra Jean Howell. Briley Susan Hudson. Gage Wesley Hulse. Alexandria Faith Humphreys, also softball player, state champion.
Andrew Allen James. Haley Lee Jensen. Aaron Scott Johnson II. Charles Wayne Johnson. Michaela Catherine Johnson. Robert Dakota Wayne Johnson. Taylor Brian Johnson. Brayden McKee Jones. Christopher Nathaniel Jones. Kylie Nicole Jones. Savannah Marie Jones. Grayson Nathaniel Kastner. Gavin Caleb Kierce. Garrett Michael Kelly. Logan Alexander Keys. Brooke Marie Koenig. Caitlin Elizabeth Kruger. Connor Taylor Lanier. Aileen Brianna Laxon. Clara Danielle Laxon. James Bradley Lloyd Jr. Krishna Brandon Long. Luis Felipe Lopez. Mario Hugo Lopez II. Mario Isa Lopez Perez. Lindsay Rachel Lowry. Casey Luna. Katie Lynn Lunsford. Kylie Faith McDonald. Ella Grace Marion. Stephanie Elizabeth Martinez. Allison Israel MacArthur. Bo Allen McCreary. Michael John McCullough. Yeah. 
Madison Grace McWilliams. Matthew Isaiah Michelle. Ramsey Aaron Madell. Erica Mesa Jimenez. Iceleen Alondra Mesquitic Escamilla. Mackenzie Rose Mitchell. Ryan Wade Mitchell. Karime Anahai Monsivais. Nancy Marguia Rocha. Mary Madison Corey Myers. Tanner Wayne Myers. Colton Lee Newcomb. Ryan Elizabeth Niles. Faith Mariah Leanne Noland. Grant Hughes O'Neill. Robert James Oncal the third. Zachary Allen Orchowski. Abriana Lauren Pacheco. Lynn Marie Palmasano. Emily Margaret Payne. Benito Pena the third. Leslie D. Ruth Perkins. Cameron Dakota Pearson. Dylan James Pike. Elena Victoria Ponce. Bryce Allen Potter. Emily Diane Price. Jacob Daniel Raymer. Miguel Angel Ramirez, Jr. Caleb Paul Rapsilver. Zachary Gage Reese. Gracie Lynn Renfro. Dario Augustin Rios.
Amanda Rivera. Griffin K. Robinson. Justin Lee Robeson. Crystal Rodriguez. Fernando Esteban Rodriguez. Spring Nicole Rogers. Amanda Paige Ross. Donnie Wayne Ross. William Justin Runkle. Jesse James Sheffield. Chance Lane Shelby. Sebastian Hamid Shojay. Hannah Lynn Siarski. Braden Shea Simo. Michaela Dawn Slater. Billy Jean Smith. Destiny Nichelle Tanya Solly. Jeffrey Travis Sonye. Darian Jade Spring. Joshua David Sebulime. Alize Ann Stokes. Miranda Deanne Thomas. Connor Reed Toller. Ludi Said Torres. Emiliana Elizabeth Vaca. Mercy Alexander Valdez. Heather K. Vanderpool. Cade Mason Murph Vickery. Jeremy Wayne Von Bruno Jr. Wilhelm Allen Wallace. Bethany Renee Webb. Caitlin Denise Webb. Hunter Wayne West. Eric Wayne Westbury. 
Megan Danielle White. Chet Allen Wilcox. Nikhail Reagan Wright. Logan Allen Young. Graduates, please rise for the traditional tassel ceremony and remain standing for the benediction. As graduates of Hargrave High School, we will now change our tassel from the right to the left to signify our passage from high school. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we stand before you, Lord, as your children, ready to go into the world with the strength you have given us in your name. Thank you for bringing us here today to celebrate our accomplishments and for having your hand on us throughout our entire journey. We could not have made it without your wisdom and guidance. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to make lifelong memories and friendships here. Our fellowship is what strengthens us. Thank you for the influences you've placed in our path, our parents, teachers, administrators, and so many more. It is through them that we've been shaped and molded into the people we're supposed to be. And thank you, Lord, for the amazing foundation you have given us to build our future upon, for building us up and giving us all we need to move forward into our futures. I pray that you continue to watch over us, keeping us steady as we step out into the world. Prepare us, Lord, to take on new tasks and face new challenges. I ask that you keep our visions clear, minds focused, and hearts full so that we may achieve everything we set out to do. Our su successes can only be attributed to you, Lord. You are our strength, our hope, and our salvation. Be with us now as we move into the next chapter of our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. you are welcome to greet your student in the exhibit hall after the ceremony. To conclude this afternoon's graduation ceremony, would all seniors please turn and face the audience. We welcome our family and friends to join us in the singing of the school song.
We appreciate you coming out tonight. That concludes our graduation ceremony. Parents, you may meet your graduates in the back of the arena.